Here we go, so I'm just this morning doing a little interview for Radio Gloucestershire about um, these pink bales here. So this chap's just arrived and I'm going to video him setting up. Hi right. right, mate, good to see you. Nice, right. nice pink silage wraps you you've got Do you like here. them, do you? I think they're absolutely brilliant. Fantastic. I was told, look out for the marshmallows. Yeah. You've not let me down, have you? They're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they actually look like giant marshmallows. I'm on a diet at the moment. Oh. You're doing this on purpose. You're going to eat one of those? I <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably could, yeah. So what are you going to do? Set this beast up then? Let's get rigged up. Yeah, we're going to yeah. try it. Well, we're going to try it. It looks nice and clear today, so hopefully. You don't mind me filming you setting up then? I don't mind at all. Excellent. You carry on. All right. This is like a magic box of tricks, isn't it? Sort of, yeah. It's, um, I mean, there's a lot of science behind it, a lot, it of, uh, a lot of intelligent stuff going on in here that I, I know very little about, but uh, you watch, it'll be one of those so days where what it, you, it doesn't work. What are you looking for? Filming. It's got a satellite dish on the top, is not it? It has, yeah. Is that going to pop up in a minute? It is. It's like something out of a James Bond film, isn't it? Like <laughs> the old 70s James Bond films where they get very a Lamborghini yeah. and convert it into sort of a flying car. Of, well, what this there is going to do is basically, uh, I just press a couple of buttons, yeah. and then this finds the satellite on its own. So I'll just, uh, right. pretty well, just stand back and yeah. let it whiz around a few times. Okay. Uh, you've got to keep your eye, oh, out, for, keep your eye out for the trees, because sometimes it doesn't yeah. like being near the well, trees. We are a bit close to that so one. If it doesn't, then we, we have to take it over, over to that side of the field. Right, okay. Have another go. Right, brilliant. So we just found the target satellite, here we go. We have. Where's that? Somewhere, Somewhere floating in space. up there. <laughs> Can't see it today. Nobody knows where that is. <laughs> floating over Africa or something, or rest of Europe. Excellent, so we're just gonna gear ourselves up. One or two yeah. mics? Say again? How many mics do we have? Uh, we, I think one we'll mic. Do, uh, we'll, I think we'll do one mic. Yeah. Anna, Rule, Anna King, the presenter today. Right. She's gonna introduce us. Yeah. And she'll say, Justin's uh, having a look at these. And then I'll just do a, an introduction, then it'll just be me and you talking. Right, so fine. Be as if we're just having a conversation. Yeah, except excellent. we'll be talking into this excellent. little fella. Do you know that? It's going to be, be good, isn't it? It's going to be good. It's going to be, be good. good. Right, I'll switch this off till we're ready to go. Sounds good. That's much better. How are you doing? You all right there? Yeah, he's great, he's great. We've come across these big marshmallows. They're, they are incredible. They're, they're absolutely brilliant. They, they look exactly like marshmallows. That sort of like uh, pale pink hue. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's great, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're all set up to go now and uh, we're just waiting for our time slot, which I think is about 10 past, or a couple of minutes past 10. So we've got Justin behind, busy texting away. Trying to look busy, but really he's just probably playing Pokemon. Playing Pokemon, I've been guess... catching Pokemon around the field. <laughs> he's playing Pokemon. I'm joking, I'm typing up notes, don't worry. Yeah, look, look he's trying to hard, professional at work. Today. And I'm just <laughs> stood here, hoping I don't swear on ca on the radio. Well, and yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, you, mean, you might be frightened me there. I, re I remember, um, remember what I'm here talking about. So we're going to go in a minute. I will set up the video camera to film us, but I might just patch it in with a photo or two because it might be just easier to do that. My editing's not that great. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. Morning, Anna. How are you doing? You told me. Justin, you're going out to look at some giant marshmallows in a field. I didn't know what to expect, uh, but you've delivered. I'm standing in front of a huge mountain of silage wraps, uh, and they do just look exactly like giant marshmallows. This beautiful, light pinky kind of hue to it. The man behind it, the man who's been uh, creating these, Richard Connor. Morning to you. Hello, mate. Uh, just give us an idea of, of why you did this, because there's a, there's a really important point to this. Well, it was I was approached last year by the contractor who does our silage um, wrapping, and she said, um, oh, we've got some pink silage wrap. Do you want some? And I didn't know what this was all about. It's a very unusual colour to have in bale wrap. But actually what it is, is it helps raise money for breast cancer awareness. 
because a silage wrap company has come up with this pink wrap and for every roll of wrap they sell they donate um, some money towards breast cancer awareness. It was a fantastic cause really and, and, and a lovely bit of fun as well, isn't it? I was going to say, as people drive around the country, you, know, you see as you're driving, you look in the fields of Gloucestershire, you see the, the normal ones, the, the, the big black uh, rats, That's just right. sitting in the field or piled up at the side here. But now people are looking to see the colours. What's, what's the reaction been like to this? Oh, it's been amazing. I tell you, it's been some real um, fun. You know, people have stopped, I've seen people stop in their cars and jump out and take a picture in the field. In fact, they, I was driving by the other day and there was someone with a model actually stood posing next to Pink Bales, doing, fully clothed I have to say, um, <laughs> um, doing some sort of artistic shots, you know, to get, so, you know, I think it's a nice contrast, isn't it? It's unusual, really. It, it's, it's absolutely beautiful, and, it, and I, I've got to, I'm just going to say it again, they do look exactly like Morris Mothers. We'll they get do. a video, and we'll pop it up on our Facebook page a little, bit a little bit later on. It's, I was going to say, I'm going to have to stop at the sweeter shop on the way back and <laughs> pick myself up. But this is, because this is just the latest in a, in a long line of things you've been doing. You've been farming here for, for how many years? Well, 1822, um, my family first started in Tiddington, and um, we've been uh, farming ever since, so I've just about got the hang of it now, really. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, this is just the latest in a long run. And I've got to say, Anna, before, I, before we finish up here, I didn't realise this until I got here, but I'm actually in the presence of a, of a fairly famous farmer. Because you, a lot of farmers have told you, you know, we, we use technology, that kind of thing. You've got a whole new slant on this, haven't you, Richard? Well, yeah, I'm a vlogger, actually. I'm, a, I'm a, called The Funky Farmer on I YouTube. I should put out a vlogger is a video blogger, yeah. am I right? Yeah, I'm, I only learned the word myself about a year ago. <laughs> but yeah, I make videos on the farm, um, and, and I call myself The Funky Farmer on YouTube. And I do videos of the baling, I do milking the cows. Like, it's kind of a nice way of people getting to see what it's really like on a little family farm, rather than kind of the glamorous side you might see on some other programs, you know? It's absolutely brilliant. Well, Anna, I'm gonna, like, like I said, I'm gonna head off now. But on the way back, I'm gonna be picking up some marshmallows from the, uh, I'm gonna find myself a nice post office or a corner shop somewhere. I can, can I get you anything? Oh, yes, we'll get a campfire. We're we'll going in the car park. <laughs> Alright man, Britt, I'll head into Wooden now. Great. How was, that was right? that? Did that was, you enjoy that? Yeah, it was alright I thoroughly right, mate. enjoyed that. I thought that was good fun, did you? It was excellent. Thank oh, you very good. much. And uh, Manpreet in the studio says for me to tell you uh, thank you very much and that you were brilliant. Cheers so. mate. Brilliant. <laughs> so we've, we've, pleased the, we've pleased the team today. Brilliant. Cheers Richard. Cheers. Yeah.